Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm actually very excited to talk about this topic of integrating your email and social marketing. A couple of quick housekeeping items. I think what we're going to do is run through a pretty brief PowerPoint kind of outlining or outlining kind of the landscape of email and social. Go through a couple of, of very practical and tactical things that you can do to improve the integration and the success of both email and social. And then we're going to actually jump into the application and see some of these things in real action. So having said that, we all know that social is becoming much more important in terms of the landscape of outbound communication. It is true that studies absolutely continue to show that email by far is the most effective and dominant channel in terms of marketing and communication. But having said that, we know that over the last several years, the last five years, Social has just exploded in terms of its reach among everybody. And more importantly, it's becoming much more of, an, of a, a critical component to the outbound communications efforts. And really, depending on sort of the nature of the communications you are, who you're communicating to, social really can become um, an equal, if not predominant, way of communicating out to your customers, prospects, members, etc. So first let's try and scope out kind of where we are in terms of the landscape of all of these different communications channels. In terms of email, there are just under 4 billion active email accounts out there. That's really an astounding number if you think about it. Facebook, just over 1 billion users are currently on Facebook. That in of itself is a massive number. Twitter, close to half a billion users on Twitter. LinkedIn, something similar, where you've got about a quarter million people who are on LinkedIn. And these numbers, I think, are astounding given the fact that there are really only seven billion people on the planet. I think what these numbers indicate is that we're rapidly approaching an era where everybody that you want to communicate with, communicate with is plugged into some form of electronic technology. Could be email, and again, some of the other people aren't, aren't on social networking, but rapidly that is becoming less and less. More and more people are on all of these channels simultaneously. So really the question that everybody's asking, why should I integrate my email and social marketing? In many organizations, there's kind of a division between the two. You've got the folks that they deal with email marketing, and in some organizations, they hired some younger person to deal with the social marketing because they feel that they're more in tune with that type of technology. And in many cases, those two things are not connected or integrated. The people on the email marketing side are doing things. People on the social marketing side are doing things. And there's not a lot of cooperation and, more importantly, coordination between the two. So again, the main question is, why should I integrate my email and social marketing efforts? I think the most important thing is this first bullet point. Your customers, your prospects, your members, everybody who you are trying to communicate with, the vast majority of them right now, today, they are on both email and social channels. Just think of yourself. You look, am I on Facebook? Probably. Am I on Twitter? Maybe. Do I use LinkedIn? Probably so. Now extrapolate and think of all the people you're trying to communicate with. Just think about those people on the street, people who are watching TV. Most all of them are connected to both of these channels of communication. So why integrate? Because the very people that you're trying to communicate with are currently using both types of communications to consume information that you're trying to disseminate to them. I think it's really important to note that, that we can really no longer view these things as these independent silos. What happens on the email marketing side has no impact on what I do on Facebook. And alternatively, People who are following me on Facebook or, or following me on Twitter, they have no connection whatsoever to the emails I send them. I think that that no longer can, is really true. And I think we really have to make a mind shift of not thinking of these different channels as independent silos. Think of it as a hose, okay? A fire hose, if you will, of communications that's going out. And it's multi-channel. And that's where we're trying to get to. Now, if you sort of make that commitment or take steps to, in fact, integrate email and social, there's a lot of potential benefits. Number one, 
absolutely you have the potential to expand the reach of your communications. It may very well be that there are people out there who aren't really tuned into email anymore and they want to consume the information over social. Because you're not providing that information over those social channels, you're not able to expand the reach of those communications as you were before. Similarly, if people don't want to get it over social and want to get it over email, again, you're missing out because they're not integrated. I think it's critical now with this integrated approach that you can identify influencers. People have all sorts of different terms for them, evangelists, influencers, but these are the people that can really amplify your communications and amplify your message and helping you to expand that communication. By finding out who these people are who consistently like your post on Facebook, who are constantly retweeting your content, and who, by the way, also are the ones that are always opening your emails and clicking, you're able to identify who are the key people that you're communicating with that can help you expand the reach of your communications to other people that perhaps you're, you, you weren't able to reach before. Again, that sort of dovetails very nicely into the concept of finding new opportunities. There may, may well be opportunities that you're missing because you're not tapped in to that very segment, either on social or on email, that is really tuned in to exactly what you're trying to promote. And I think lastly, by integrating email and social, it gives you a clear advantage and an ability to send more targeted communications with far better results. You'll be able to know, hey, this person doesn't really like to get on email anymore. But I thought, when I follow him on Twitter, I can see that he responds tremendously. Alternatively, I've got this woman, she doesn't really engage in social media, but she's very active on email. To know the things really helps you um, profile those members, customers, prospects in a much better way. Now, on the flip side, just like there are advantages to integrating, if you don't integrate, I submit there are potentially consequences as well, as well. So for example, it is not too inconceivable to think about that if you don't integrate and continue to sort of silo these or maybe not engage in one or the other types of communications, you may lose touch with customers. Those people that perhaps aren't on social media but are on email, if you don't continue on the email side, you may lose touch with them. Similarly, if there are people who have sort of lowered their engagement on email but are following you on Twitter, if you don't have an active Twitter strategy that's integrated with email, you may not know that. Also, you may alienate certain customers or prospects by not providing them with the types of communications they want within the channels that they're looking for. People may, or you may start eroding sort of the trust of your brand with them. All of a sudden, it's like, you know what, I tried Twitter, I tried Facebook, I don't go on it anymore. It's like, it, it's, it's very spammy to me, some people will say. So to give up email is not a great strategy because you don't want to alienate that existing customer. You want to give people the ability to consume that information in any channel they want. And again, if we don't sort of integrate and are aware of which people like um, uh, social, which people like email, we can also reduce the very impact of our communication. Once again, people might start, yes, they're still looking at the email, but they decide, you know what, I need to look at it more on social. So they start paying less and less attention to it. So to integrate with email and social, which we're going to get into some of the tactics, it's not a very difficult thing to do. I personally believe it's a critical thing to do. And we are right in the midst of that evolutionary process as these communications channels are evolving right before our very eyes. And not in a slow evolutionary way, in some cases, revolutionary ways. And that's why it's critical to be sort of at the top of the game with both of these channels.